Hello, let us solve this question. This question you may find harder, but it's really very, very easy. And we will do it by cross multiplication method. So this is my question. Let's solve this. So first of all, I will convert these two equations in standard form. So I will copy this AX upon B minus BY upon A. And I will take this A and B, both values to the left side like this minus A minus b now you might think y minus i don't have any sign here so let's say this is plus and plus will be minus if i change the side minus a minus b is equal to zero same with this one ax minus by and then 2ab will be minus 2ab is equal to zero now let's go further let's uh, get the value of a1 a2 b1 b2 and c1 c2 so here a1 a2 is a upon b and a why coefficient of x value with the x is value of a1 so what i have with x i have a upon b with x and here a same way here minus b upon a is with y so minus b upon a and here minus b and same way this one minus a minus b minus 2ab that is c1 c2 now you might think how can i decide in exam that i have to take these two values together i have answer for that also in linear equation, we know that generally linear equation is like this 2x plus 5y is equal to 10 and last term is constant. So constant value is taken as c1. So here this whole is taken as c1. So this is how what is left after x and y coefficient will be taken as c1. And now let us apply the formulas. Formula says x upon b1 b2 c1 c2 then y upon c1 c2 repeat a1 a2 then 1 a1 a2 repeat b1 b2 so you can memorize like this it starts from b1 b2 and ends with the b1 b2 now i will make arrows so b1 b2 will be multiplied by c2 same way b2 with c1 c1 with a2 c2 with a1 a1 with b2 a2 with b1 now let us substitute the values so i will copy these things numerators because numerators will be the same x y and 1 now what is the value of b1 b1 is minus b upon a what is the value of b2 here b2 so that is minus b let's go ahead what is the value of c1 so value of c1 is minus a minus b right now this same thing minus into bracket a plus b is same as minus a minus b why if i leave the bracket it will be minus a minus b because this minus will change the sign of both the terms minus 2ab now value of c1 c2 so that will be same the next is a1 a2 a1 a2 is what very simple a upon b and a and then i will repeat this a upon b and a and then last b1 b2 so we started with b1 b2 this value will be copied here now let us do multiplication so this will be minus b upon a times minus 2ab then minus this is compulsory minus we will do subtraction of both the product multiplication of these two minus multiplication of these two so i will make bracket now and this will be minus b multiply by minus a minus b minus a minus b and minus into bracket a plus b both are same thing i already explained let's go ahead multiplication of these two multiplication of these two compulsory minus sign multiplication of these two a upon b times minus b compulsory minus sign a into minus b upon a now let us further simplify this so this will be a a cancelled so we are left with what minus b and minus 2b minus b minus 2b now minus into bracket b is with both the terms so b times a is b a and minus minus plus so plus b a and minus b times minus b plus b square let's go here here a is with both the terms this a is with both the terms so a times a is minus a square and a times b is minus a b or you can say minus b a order doesn't matter and then minus into bracket here can i cancel something yes i can cancel b and b 
So what I am left with minus 2a square. a times a is a square minus 2a square. But as of now I will write minus 2a into a. And here b be cancelled. So minus a, this b, this b cancelled. And this minus will go with this a. Minus a, a a cancelled. So minus minus b. This a a cancelled. I copied this minus and this minus. Now let's go further. So if I multiply these two, this will be 2b square plus 2b square minus minus plus b times b, b square minus if I leave the bracket, I will not keep the bracket. So it will change the sign of both the terms minus ab. I just changed the order ba and ab both are same. I wrote this in alphabetical order minus b square. Let's go here minus a square minus ab. I wrote this in alphabetical order. This will be minus minus so plus and 2a times a 2a square plus 2a square and now this will be minus a plus b. Now I will copy this in the next page. This is what we got at the end. Now this much part is with this and this much part is also with this. So let's find x and y. So this first term is with this so I copied it now I will take this whole here in the numerator so this will be something like this now you can see here we have like terms like terms are the terms which have same variable and power of the variable is also same so 2b square minus 1b square this is 1b square so 2b square minus 1b square is what 2 minus 1 1 that is 1b square and that is positive 1b square so here b square no need to write positive minus a b copied minus a plus b. Now let's further simplify this. I can take b as common from these two. So b will be common into bracket b square. So 1 b is left and this is minus a and here b minus a. Now here this will be cancelled b minus a b minus a. Now you might think it was minus a plus b. I can write this as b minus a also. I wrote this first and this later. Here no need to write positive. So this is b minus a, b minus a cancelled. Value of x is b. Let's do here. I will take this over here. I just took these two terms. This term and this term. Now I will take this whole here. Now I have again like terms minus a square plus 2a square. So I can say minus 1a square plus 2a square. Now if I simplify this to plus 2 minus 1 is what plus 1. So plus 1 a square no need to write plus 1 you can say this is plus a square. So now this will be something like this a square minus a b. I will take a as common. So if I take a as common I will be left with a minus b and here minus a plus b. And you may be uh, watching my video to understand this concept only because this is little confusing. So if you find this confusing you listen to me carefully for few seconds only let me make it so simple for you if i say i have minus 5 plus 10 and if you simplify this what would be your answer 10 minus 5 5 and bigger number sign according to integer rule now if i take minus common so into bracket if i take minus common from these two this will be 5 minus 10 am i right because it changed the sign of both the terms. This will be plus 5. This will be minus 10. Now plus 5 minus 10 is what? Minus 5. And minus minus is what? Plus 5. So did you observe you get the same answer? Is it? You got plus 5 plus 5 in both the cases. So here what I will do. I will copy this. I will copy these also. And then here I will take minus common. So if I take minus common into bracket, it will be plus a, this minus will be plus because minus changes the sign. You can see I made this minus plus. So this will be plus a minus b. And now these two value matches, isn't it? So my answer will be y is equals to minus a because you cannot ignore this minus sign. So this will be given to this a. So y is equal to minus a. So friends, I tried to explain in as easy language as possible. If you find it useful, you can like my video and you can send a comment about my work. Thank you.